So, you want to make a beacon, eh? Let's do it. I do these tutorials super quick because a lot of other tutorials rattle on too much. Click subscribe and enjoy. There are two components to making a beacon, the beacon itself and the pyramid. Let's start with the beacon. To make it, you'll need three obsidian, four glass blocks and a nether star. A nether star is a tricky one. To get it, you need to kill the wither boss. If you don't know how to do this, check out this video. It's linked in the description below. below. So you made your beacon? Great. Now quickly take your well-earned break. Okay, your break's over. Get back to work. Having a beacon is all well and good, but having a beacon without a pyramid is like, I don't know, having a car without an engine. So you'll need to make yourself a pyramid, you silly sausage. Let's do that. First, let me teach you a couple of things about pyramids. Pyramids are to be made out of mineral blocks, consisting of either iron, gold, diamond, emerald, or netherite. These blocks can be mixed as well, by the Given way. Given that an iron pyramid and a netherite pyramid both do the same job, you have to be an absolute psycho to make a pyramid out of netherite. Just, just use iron. Pyramids can be made up to four blocks high. The higher the pyramid, the more status effects are available, and the greater the range. Just be mindful that the bee must have clear access to the sky, so don't build in a house or anything unless, you know, you've got an open or glass seal. To actually make use of the bee, you can go up to it, right click and a dialogue thingy will pop up. You have the option to place in any of the materials as you see on the left here, you know, the iron, diamond, etc. Once again, whichever material you use, it'll achieve the same outcome. So unless you're a complete psycho, use iron as they're the easiest resource to obtain. So I want to explain this interface because it can be very confusing if you aren't familiar with it. It actually took me a while to get it, to be honest. See how you have these green pyramids in each row? As you guess, they correlate to how high your pyramid is. Remember, up to four blocks high. If your pyramid is only one block high, for example, the pyramid would look like this. And your interface will look like this. Know that everything is grayed out except for the icons next to one block high pyramid. Makes sense? So the higher the pyramid, the more of these options you'll have available. So to you. you're probably wondering, okay then, what does primary and secondary power mean? Well, think of it this way. If your pyramid's three blocks high, you can only pick one power, as you can see here. If your pyramid is four blocks high, then you still have the option to pick the power from the but left. instead, on the right, you have unlocked either a health regeneration in addition to the power chosen on the left, or level up one of the powers on the left. I hope this makes sense. Also, another handy tip, you can make the pyramid bigger too. This will enable you to select additional effects using each beacon. The pyramid can be enlarged enough to fit up to six total beacons like you see it here. Oh, and just an FYI, a single level pyramid will enable you to have your powers up to 20 blocks away. Two levels are up to 30 blocks away. Three levels are up to 40 blocks away. And four levels are up to 50 blocks away. That's pretty much all you need to know about beacons. I mean, if you ask me, they look so good. Look how high the beam goes as well. Pyramids are good for your life. They really do improve your well-being and just who you are as a person.